What's going on guys, Solomon here, and today we are going to bleed the brakes on the S6. If you remember in the video of me driving the car for the first time, you remember me saying how bad the brakes were. Man, these brakes feel rough. Pull the brakes, oh my God. Like the pedal was literally going to the floor and you could feel the brakes pulsating in the pedal. Like there was no hydraulic pressure at all. So today um, I have a good excuse to change the fluid out on it as well so that's also going to be today's video is also going to be partially a review on the harbor freight brake bleeding kit with the auto refill kit so like the way it works from my understanding is you hook this unit into the air compressor this end goes on the bleeding tip of the caliper this goes in the brake reservoir filled with clean brake fluid and then it's going to use vacuum from the air compressor to pull the old brake fluid into there. It's pretty simple and it's really cheap. I don't remember exactly how much this costs. I'll throw it up on the screen. But let's hope it works as good as, say, a more expensive option. And then this video will be productive and that you can go to Harbor Freight and get this product. All right, so first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get this autofill bottle filled up with some fresh dot bore. That's what the S6 calls for. All right, so for reference, it'll take exactly a bottle of standard DOT4 brake fluid. This is from Advanced Auto Parts. So the fill bottle will take one whole bottle. Just gonna get that twisted back on there. This fill bottle does have a valve on it, so it's not gonna come spraying out while you're getting it over your reservoir. And then it also has a little piece that will hold it in place within the reservoir. So hopefully this doesn't make too much of a mess, but first step, we're gonna go ahead and get this in the reservoir on the S6 and get that all in position. So one of the main reasons that I am doing this is I recreated here how I found the brake fluid reservoir when I got the car. The cap was off and it was filled to the brim with, I'm not sure even what. So uh, this is gonna be really good to cycle uh, clean fluid through the lines and everything. And we'll hopefully get all the air and whatever else is in there out. And we're gonna have a nice solid brake pedal again, hopefully. But I just thought that was funny that that's how the car came. Somebody left the cap off of there, which is awesome. So all of this stuff up here, who even knows what was getting in there? So there's the fill reservoir popped in there. I'm gonna go ahead and flip this valve open. It's actually probably gonna be ideal to flip that open once we're in position to start collecting the old stuff out of the lines because that would probably overfill by the time I get everything set up for the video. So we'll remember to flip that open once we get down here on the ground. I'm gonna get everything situated on this side of the car. Got the light in there so we can see what we're working with and we'll get started. So coming into the wheel well, this right here on the top, this right here on the top of the caliper is the bleed spot for this S6. It's an 11 millimeter, so I'm just gonna go ahead and get that fitted on there, right there, so that we'll be able to close it once we get the vacuum machine off of there and not let any air in. All right, so we got the fluid reservoir down here. This is the end, sorry, this is the end that goes on it. Hopefully, hopefully this is a fit. Ooh. Yeah, it's a tight fit, but it's a fit. All right, so there's that. And that's pretty cool. You can kind of see if you got air bubbles and stuff going into this reservoir. That's a nice, you got a nice length hose there. You can have this sitting on the ground and then this piece here can also lock this into place so if you need to be up keeping an eye on the refill bottle that will work um, we're gonna get the air plugged into this and we'll get started all right so with that in place we got the air going to the air compressor I got about a hundred pounds of pressure in there creating a vacuum to pull that out so we already have this fitted I'm gonna go ahead and open this up maybe Got that line open. I'm gonna go ahead and pull this. And at any time that air compressor may turn on, so I'll abruptly cut and
be probably going back and forth to get audio through this. So let's go ahead and see what happens. Got the air coming out of there. You can see, got the bubbles coming through and the old fluid. Actually, it doesn't look too dirty. I'm gonna go ahead and flip this open so we can have fresh stuff flowing in. Maybe, there we go. You can hear it plugging into there. Close that off and disconnected this because actually we ran out of fluid already up there on the fill bottle um, I'm gonna pull this out and see but it's looking pretty dirty still and there's definitely still a lot of smaller bubbles rolling through so I'm gonna disconnect the airline and open this up and just to take a look and see what the old fluid was looking like so let's do that all right so there is the old fluid that was in the S6. That still looks pretty bad. I almost want to strain that out or drain that out into the old, the empty bottle of brake fluid. And then I, we're gonna hook this back up because I'm still getting a lot of bubbles through there. We're gonna refill that with some more new brake fluid. And then I'm gonna see if we see any difference after we run a little bit more through but I'm not stopping until we don't see the bubbles. They're getting smaller and smaller, but I'm, I'm guessing we're still pulling some bad fluid through there and some nasty, just nasty, nasty stuff out of there. That's like so much darker than what the fresh stuff looked like. So we're gonna keep going. All right, here it goes. Let's see if I can not spill this all over myself. It's like a deep yellow color. When I was pouring that other stuff, it was clear. It was clear when it was pouring. It's a pretty dense yellow. I'm also curious to see if this is filling up this entire thing because I pretty much ran the fill bottle empty. So if this isn't full, that means that we're replacing a lot of air, a, a lot of space in the system that had, there, there's no fluid. We're replacing a lot of space in the system that has air with fluid if this isn't where it needs to be. So let's see here. Oh yeah, this feels maybe half full and we ran, I'll show you where we're at on the fill bottle. We ran almost an entire bottle of fluid into it. So this definitely needed done. I mean, that would make sense to me. I don't know if that's exactly what that means, but that only being half full the reservoir was full of something when we started, so I think we're making some progress. I'm going to get this fill back up. We're going to keep flowing on it. The only reason I'm not really recording while it's happening is because of the air compressor. As you know, nobody really wants to listen to that, I don't think, so let's keep it going. They stopped getting uh, the air bubbles with that much left of the second bottle of brake fluid, so if I could give one takeaway if we're doing this, Definitely make sure you get a lot of brake fluid. This was just one side, but granted this vehicle was also in some seriously bad shape as far as that went with the thing hanging wide open and as much air being in there as it was. But we still got to do this side and the rear, but other than that, it's, it's basically the same process, just a time consuming process, but a lot less time consuming than having to bleed them with someone in the car hitting the brake while you're watching a bottle fill up with fluid and worrying all about topping off the brake fluid in the reservoir. So as far as that tutorial goes, I think that pretty much covers it. If you guys have any questions, 
Um, I'm obviously going to be doing the rest of these, so go ahead and drop them in the comments. Maybe I'll come across something that's a little bit weird. But other than that, guys, uh, that is it for today's video. More S6 content coming soon. We're going to be driving this thing around a lot more once we get the brakes squared away. And a couple other things. we got to get some coolant leaks fixed. Got some parts coming in for that. But I will talk to you guys later. Hopefully this video was informative. And I think that this is definitely a worthy purchase because I have done brake bleeding jobs with having someone sit in the car and worry about getting this and worry about getting that. And it's just not worth it. This is like less than $50 if I remember correctly. So just buy it. It's awesome. It works good. Head to Harbor Freight. All right. Non-sponsored video at all. Talk to you guys later.